All right, welcome. We are live here at West Washington High School here in the T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium here on the Ron Smith Court as we have high school boys basketball tonight. Had a lot of basketball this week. I know my partner, Mr. Akers, over here is He's probably tired of watching basketball games. <laughs> I, I don't know that I ever get tired of watching well, basketball. Well, yeah, just uh, maybe tired of being in the gym. He's at school all day and then has to turn around and come in here. But uh, boys basketball tonight on a rare Thursday night, the only Thursday night really that we have in the season because of the girls sectional, which the girls sectional going on right here at West Washington in that class 1A sectional will be uh, – back in action tomorrow night. So you can tune in here on West Washington live stream and WWSR and see what should be a couple pretty good basketball games. You got the number one team in the state in Lanesville that'll be here and they'll be taking on the Rock Creek Academy Lions and then uh, Lionesses, I guess I should say. Yeah. And then yep. the, uh, the second game will feature the West Washington Lady Senators taking on the Lady Braves of Borden. So yeah, that's a, that you're going to have two slugfests tomorrow night between those those four teams. So Well, you know, the, the Senators, you, you talk about that a little bit. The Lady Senators and the Lady Lions really have nothing to lose. I mean, nobody expects them to win the games. Uh, you know, Lanesville and Borden both have had tremendous seasons. That's why they're both ranked as high as they are. And, <laughs> um, you know, the, those teams can come in here and play free and loose. And, you know, the Senator, Lady Senators playing here on their home floor um, you know, I look for them to uh, maybe make a little noise in that deal tomorrow night. So we need a full house here for sure, though, to cheer them on. But got boys basketball here tonight as the boys back in action here against the Crawford County Wolf Pack, another uh, uh, conference opponent. And uh, let's hope it's not the typical conference game that we've had all year long. <laughs> An overtime game? Because every game except for the Paoli game, and it was a last-second shot, have went into overtime, and we haven't fared real well in those overtimes. Uh, even though the last time out, the, the Senators boys team here got a double overtime win over North Harrison yep. uh, last Friday. So that was a huge f win for them, and uh, North Harrison, a 3A school, bigger school, might be down a little bit in basketball this year, but that's still a big win for our boys, and you know, hopefully they can come out here tonight and, and compete well against the Wolfpack of Crawford County and, and get a W. They're going to be without a couple of prime pieces of their, their team and Kenton Chase uh, out sick tonight along with Hayden Morrow. So um, probably their sixth man and, and one of their starters down here tonight. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting uh, interesting game here for Coach Cummings and, and figuring out exactly what he's going to do. Um, you know, we're going to see a new starting lineup that we haven't seen this year just with the sickness of, of uh, Kenton Chase not being here, the senior point guard, four-year starter. Um, you know, hard to replace that on the floor. Where does, where does Coach Cummings go? Well, he goes to his, his freshman six-man off the bench. He goes to Colton Brown right. to bring him in tonight. Um, we're also going to see a, a real heavy dose of um, Nash Abels, yep. which we've seen kind of flashes of him throughout the year on the varsity scene so we're going to see see three freshmen on the court for the senators quite a bit tonight yeah that's a great point and you know the, the thing i will say the jv senators have really played well here uh in the the last several outings and those kids just continue to get better they won i guess you could say it's a win yeah they only played two quarters here tonight because crawford also a little down on numbers and um, you know, we were definitely down on numbers, so two quarters of JV, but our JV won that contest, I think, by ended up five. Five. Uh, yeah, it was yep. like 25 to 20 or something like that, but um, just playing the two quarters. So that's why we're a little early uh, going on the air here tonight, but we appreciate you tuning in with us. Appreciate all our sponsors, and, uh, you know, we'll try to bring you a good game here tonight between the Senators and the uh, Crawford County Wolfpack. So, you know, flipping over, talking a little bit about the Wolfpack, you mentioned it before we went on the yes. air. They're on a three game win streak. Their record is 4 and 13, but they've gotten three wins in those past three games. They beat Cordon Central, Tell City, and New Washington. So, right. um, they've won three games in a row, kind of on a high. They had only gotten one before that. That was Tell City. So, they beat that Tell City team twice. Um, you know, but anything's possible tonight. The, the Senators playing with a, a different lineup. 
Crawford coming in on a three-game win streak. It's it's a, a, a PLAC matchup of, of two teams of who knows what we're going to see tonight. Yeah, and Crawford's kind of, you know, they've kind of been a, a like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type team. They, you know, they get beat by Salem, um, you know, not taking anything away from Salem, but, you know, they got beat by Salem. They got beat by some teams that haven't won a whole lot of games. But then they turn around, you know, and they beat uh, a 3A opponent, Mid-Southern Conference opponent in Corden. Um, and, and, you know, Corden basketball has always been a, a pretty good program. Yeah. And, you know, I know they're down a little bit. But this team, you know, they've, they've got some seniors. They, the, the Sattler kid, they've got the, the Conrad kid, number 25. And uh, they always have a Stroud, Nash Stroud, number 44. Uh, their big guy in the middle at 6'4". And then also uh, Lake and Belcher, uh, one of their guards at 6'2". Uh, all seniors for the Wolf Pack. And then, you know, so, the, you know, as far as uh, classes go, they've got a lot more leadership there and a lot more kids that have played varsity minutes than what West Washington does, especially tonight without uh, Kent Chase. So, um, you know, that could come into play. You know, those kids are pretty battle-tested, and, uh, you know, we've, we're going to be playing some freshmen. But, you know, our freshmen have really kind of come into yeah. their own as well. <laughs> you know, we've seen Holden Russell. We've seen um, uh, Brown. Colton, uh, you know, they, they've played quite a bit of varsity minutes to this point, and uh, they're starting to score the basket, and that's been helping this Senator team. So, you know, we've got to go out there tonight and, uh, and and just come out and compete and do the little things right, and I think, you know, hopefully that things will take care of themselves from there. Yeah, yeah, you know, like you said, it's a it's a team. The Senators are, a, are a, going to be a younger team tonight than what they've been all year. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna figure out real quick who can come in off the bench and help because at this point, you know we've only talked five deep. The question is right. who's who's number six gonna come in? Who's number seven gonna come in to to you know spell some of these guys? Because if we're gonna play at the pace that the the freshmen are used to playing at, which is up and down sprint back and forth, they're gonna need some some time off the court to you know get their get their win back. Um, you know, so who comes in? Who's going to be that that person that comes in and gives, you know, Holden Russell a, a break? Who comes in and gives, you know, Jackson Cameron a break? Um, you know, and that and that's we're going to find out the same as same as you watching at home and listening. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, and I think there's several guys that can do that. You know, you mentioned Nash Abels. Um, you know, you you may see him play quite a bit. Uh, you know, I, I think Cree Zink has started to come off that injury to his knee. You know, yeah. he's had he, a lot of trouble. He's one that we haven't mentioned yes. who can come in and give some minutes and give some points real easy. And Cree's a junior. You know, he's a, he's a little more tested. Uh, plays really well at the JV level. Yeah. Um, you know, but uh, I think, you know, tonight might be a night where he can really help us here in this varsity contest. And, you know, he's got some quarters to play. So that's that's a good thing with the JV only playing yeah, that's a couple a, quarters. That, for those of you at home that don't know, you get five quarters yes. a night, and since the Senators only played two quarters of JV, anybody who played those two quarters in JV still have three quarters of varsity to be able to play. So guys like Kreezink, who did play two quarters of JV, can play three quarters of varsity. So, you know, we may not see Cree in the first quarter, but we may see him the rest of the game. Right, absolutely. So, you know, that, those there are several guys that can come in and help us out. You know, ordinarily, like, like I said before, we would have Hayden Morrow, who, who plays a yeah. lot off the bench, but he's out sick as well. So, you know, you got to look for Zink, um, you know, uh, Abels, uh, even maybe one of the long boys, you know, to step in there and uh, and help us out. Uh, of course, Cash Long's a senior, so, you know, he, he he's an older player that, um, you know, hasn't played a whole lot of varsity, but, um, you know, could probably come into the game and help us out if that was something that we needed. Yeah, I, I talked to, to Cash <laughs> – it was a funny story. We were standing right behind where we are now, and um, he checked into the game at Northeast Dubois and was in for five seconds and picked up two fouls. And <laughs> I didn't, I didn't even know he was on the team because he was one of those late, late right, additions to the late. team. Came yeah. in late, and I said, "You know, Cash, I'm, I'm glad that I knew who you were as you came on the court because one, I didn't know you were on the team, and two, you didn't, you didn't stay on the court very long. So, well, you know, he, I, he, I used to say, you get five fouls, you yeah. need to use them. Well, all. that's exactly what. <laughs> Coach Cummings told him, he said, hey, you're going in and we need to pick up two quick fouls yeah. so we can have them shooting free throws. Right. So that's exactly what he did. He went in and picked up two quick he ones. He done his role. He did exactly <laughs> what he was supposed to. So. And sometimes that's what it takes. You know, yeah. you got to have somebody that's able to do that. And, uh, you know, 
whether as as petty as that seems, it's important. It's important. You yes. Need, you need that guy. So yep. it may come down to you know Cash getting on the floor and and playing some minutes tonight. We we don't know. Um, yeah, well, that kind of remains to be seen as the Wolfpack has returned out here to the court. About two minutes to go here in our pregame. The Senators still back in the locker room, but they'll be coming out here shortly. Officials have made their way out. So, uh, you know, we're not too far away from getting this thing underway. And like we said, it's an early start here tonight. Uh, not even 7 o'clock yet, but yeah. just two quarters of JV. <laughs> so the good thing about that is we'll get out of here early unless – uh, don't, I don't, don't even, don't even say jinx it. it. Don't yeah. say it. Don't jinx we it. We have played a ton of <laughs> overtime games. I think five or six that we've, we've played. We've played five overtime games, yeah. and two of those are two, two overtime, overtime games. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Yeah. The last one in North Harrison played two uh, overtime. And last two, Mitchell, we played yes, in we overtime. Played so our last overtime. two games have been overtime games. Yeah, so we need to find a way to close these out yeah. and, uh, you know, win some games. But we've done it the last time out against North Harrison, so – you know, hopefully the Senators can come out and uh, do that here tonight uh, without the overtime. We can do without the yeah, overtime. Yeah, I can I can do without an overtime this week because, <laughs> yeah. like you said, you know, we're You've been busy. West Washington live stream is back here tomorrow night for two games in that girls' sectional and then back again Saturday for the championship game there. So, you know, I'd, I'd like to get home and, and yeah, you know, sure get, you some, get some rest. Be, you probably, your family <laughs> might have forgot your name. You know, well, I did, get, I did get to see my wife tonight for about 30 minutes did when you? I got home from school. Went home from school, and uh, she said, she told me this morning, she said, we're going to have beef stew tonight. I said, awesome, awesome, I'll be home ready for it. Well, she forgot to set out the beef to oh, thaw, no. so there was no beef stew. So I got the second best beef around McDonald's. Well, you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Yeah. And when you're that busy, you know, I get it. And it's hard for Jess, too, because it alters her schedule. Oh, yeah. You're going to. Yep, yep. So she's at home yeah. watching and listening for sure. Uh, yeah. But those of you in the house, there's Chick-fil-A. So you can get there Chick-fil-A, is Chick-fil-A here. Chick-fil-A here tonight. So we're just a few minutes away here from our national anthem. We'll have that coming up here. And then we will return here live to give you the starting lineups here for tonight's game against the Crawford County Wolfpack here at uh, T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium against the West Washington Senators. So we're going to pause here our national anthem, and we'll be back here with the starting lineups on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Matt's one car, two bedroom apartment with a home office slash home gym so. insurance. You, yeah. We're good at Nick's SUV and farmhouse with a remodeled kitchen slash art gallery insurance. And we're good at the Wilbur Suburban Home with the two-car garage slash rehearsal space insurance. Have you seen my hockey socks? Have you checked your sock drawer? Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. One. All right, back here live at West Washington High School as we're ready for the starting lineups here tonight, of course, first for the Wolfpack of Crawford County. Number 10, Ian Sturgeon, the freshman guard at 5'8", will get the start for the Wolfpack. 
Number 20, Xander Stat Sattler. He's a senior at 6'2 in the guard. Number 24, Reese Allen, a junior guard at 5'9. Number 35, Blake Siebert will start at one forward. He's 6'4 and a junior. And at center, number 44, Nash Stroud, the senior at 6'4. They're coached by Mr. John Hayes. And now your starters for the West Washington Senators. So we'll have them coming out now. As the Senators here, coached by Jamie Cummings. At one guard, number three, a 5'9 senior, Jackson Cameron, will get to start once again for West Washington here tonight. And another guard, number 11, the freshman Holden Russell. He will start once again for West Washington. Another guard, number 24, Colton Brown, getting a start here tonight. Yes, he will get uh, the start. And at one forward, number four, Titan Williams. He'll start for the Senators here. He's a senior at 6'4". And another uh, freshman, number 20, Nash Abel, will start here tonight. So uh, Abel's getting the start for West Washington. So uh, a four freshman lineup and the one senior in Titan Williams. Um, and we didn't mention we're without Ian Rosenbaum, at least for the first half. Yeah. Uh, that was some internal stuff, and uh, but he'll be should be able to play after the halftime break. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens here as the Senators start with the young lineup. I said uh, I said four freshmen, actually three freshmen, three freshmen, two, two seniors. seniors. Yeah. yeah. I, I, Jackson Cameron. I uh, sorry, Jackson. I, I said you were a freshman again. Uh, well, yeah, Senators wish they'd have him for four more years. Yeah, he'd sure. be nice to have for four more years. So Williams will jump it up here as he will uh, go up against Seabird here as the ball will go in the air. So it goes up. Control to Colton Brown for West Washington. He'll flip it far side to Abels. Now back out. It'll come to Holden Russell. Now off to Jackson Cameron. Cameron to Russell on the far wing. Russell looking, now driving. He'll take it around the top of the circle, gets it inside to Williams, pass is stolen away, and a turnover by the Senators here the other way. And now stolen back by Cameron as he throws it up to Titan Williams. So both teams with turnovers to start the game. Titan will drive, takes a one step, Euro step, and throws up a wild shot. Hey, we'll take that one. If it's going to fall tonight, that's a good one. He got it to go, so two to nothing here. Wolfpack bringing it up. Sturgeon will cross the timeline. He brings it across, looks inside, loses it for a second. Now flips it down to Siebert. He'll go up strong and score it. Siebert's a load inside. Yeah, He's we're going to have body. trouble guarding him yep. tonight underneath. So a little pressure by Crawford. Abels will get it across. Now to Titan Williams down in the corner. He'll flip it back out to Russell. Now off to Cameron here on the near wing. In the corner to Colton Brown. Back out high to Russell. Russell sets the offense here, 2-2. Two to two. Opening... Uh, minute here of the ball game. Colton Brown will pull it down inside the three-point line, and he buries it. Nice shot there by Colton, and I tell you, he off the elbow, he's about as pure a shooter as you're going to see. Yeah, he catches in that, that smooth motion he's got. He really does. Sturgeon up to Siebert. Siebert now crosses over there to uh, Sattler. Now back out high, it'll go. 24 Allen with it. Gets it over to Sturgeon. Now down low, it'll go to uh, Stroud on the baseline. He'll spin, goes up, throws a runner, can't get it to go. Battle for the board. Colton Brown able to come down and out of there with it for the Senators. He gets it off to Russell. He'll bring it up quickly. Holding with it, flips it back to Colton. Now out high to Titan Williams, far side to Cameron. Cameron around the screen, kicks it out. Russell will shoot it off the front of the rim, no good from the three-point range. And the rebound pulled down by Crawford County. Sturgeon off and running now. Now he'll slow it down, bring it across the timeline, reset the offense here, four to two Senators. He'll get it off here to Allen. Now a steal again by the Senators as they come out of there with it. Cameron goes far side to Brown, back out to Russell. Now to Titan Williams, back to Nash Abels. He'll shoot a three and he buried it. Nash Abels just catching and firing. I mean, that was a, a pure shot right there. He caught it in rhythm and was able to square up and shoot that one. You know, didn't have to think about it. Way to start the game there for the freshman with his first start on the varsity side. You know, can't ask for anything more out of him at the moment. No, and he's another. You know, we've got some kids that can really, they have a good form shot. 
and he's one of them, him and Brown both. Uh, you know, when they square up to the basket, they, you know, a lot of times their, their opportunities to get it to go down are pretty good because yeah. they do everything <laughs> correctly in the form. Timeout here by Crawford, a quick one here, 32nd, as uh, they're down 7-2 to two here in the opening uh, two and a half minutes of this ball game here in the first quarter. And that's so. what that's what the Senators wanted to come out and be able to do, yes. get out early, and that's what they've done. You know, we're only two and a half minutes into this game, and the Senators have already got seven points up. Sattler will get it into Sturgeon. Wolfpack bringing it back up the floor. He's picked up there by Russell. He'll cross the timeline. Dribbles far side, and Russell goes to the deck, but gets up quickly. Sturgeon with it, gets it back out to Stroud. Now it'll come off here to uh, Sattler. Sattler, far side, back to Sturgeon. He'll back it out, reset the offense here. 5.20 to go here in the first quarter, 7-2 to two West Washington. Wolfpack with it. They get it off there to Sattler. He drives, now kicks it to Sturgeon on a baseline shot up. No good. Rebound tipped away, and Russell pulls it down. He'll get it off to Cameron. Cameron up quickly to Williams. Tighten with it. Back to Jackson Cameron. Jackson now on the attack. He'll drive it in. Free throw line. Throws up a runner. Can't get it to go. Battle for the board. Still tipped around and finally pulled down there by Sattler. He'll kick it off to Sturgeon. Sturgeon brings it across for the Wolfpack, goes baseline with it. Gets it down there to Allen, back out to Sturgeon now. Top of the key to Stroud, off to uh, Sattler here. Sattler with it, throws the lob inside for Stroud. He pulls it down, goes up strong, and he can't score it, but a battle for the board, and Holden Russell pulls it away. That's a big mismatch yes. on that side. Jackson it's Cameron trying to guard him. Gets it down to Colton Brown, now back to Russell, now out high to Williams. Williams with it here, kicks it back out to Russell. Russell goes to Colton Brown, back to Russell, far side to Cameron, now off to Williams. Williams back, top of the circle to Brown. Brown dribbles out of it, kicks it back over to Williams, now back to Colton Brown. Colton with it, kicks it to Cameron, he'll pull it down and shoot a three, can't get it to go, battle for the board and Titan able to pull it down inside and he's gonna get fouled. You know, like we said on the other side, it was a mismatch with Jackson uh, Cameron trying to guard um, Siebert, but then at the other end, it's a, a mismatch when Siebert's trying to guard Nash Abels. True, good point, good point there. But, uh, you know, the centers have done a good job, though, inside defensively, just limited them to the one basket here. West Washington inbound underneath their own bucket. They'll get it into Cameron. It'll come over to Colton Brown, Brown with it. We There's saw Cree Zink check in. in, yep. They'll go far side over to Russell. Russell pulls it down, now goes baseline. Drives down in there, tries to throw a pass across the baseline, another turnover there by the Senators. Back the other way for Crawford, they'll pull it down. Couple new guys in the game for them as well. They'll go low though, and Siebert will score again. He's got all four of their buckets, or all two of their buckets. Two of their buckets, four, four of their points. points. There yeah. you go. You knew what I meant to say. Yeah. You were picking up what I was putting down. <laughs> <laughs> off to Colton Brown in the corner. He'll shoot a three off the rim, but a nice rebound there by Zink back up and in. It's good to see Cree uh, in the ball game, I tell you. Nine to four now for the Senators. Yeah, back I believe that's way. Cree's first varsity bucket this year, so. Might be Abel's with it, or excuse me. That was uh, Stroud inside. They go back to him on the give and go, and he scores his first bucket. So it's nine to six here, back the other way. Brown gets it off to Zink. Zink will go baseline, gets it to Williams. He reverses, now throws it back in the corner to Brown. He loses it for a second, now pulls it down and tries to get it low to Russell and throws it away. Another turnover by the Senators. And Crawford turns around. They turn it over on the long pass down the floor as they can't control it. Tried to get it up to Sattler. I've got, he couldn't pull it in. I've got three turnovers each way. Yep, that's what I've got. <laughs> so, Sanders, I'm usually behind on that. Well, but. You, you've done well so far. If you've got three and I've got three, we're probably that's what right. I've got. So, Senators take another 30-second timeout. Yeah. We're going to stay here. You know, Senators come out. They've they've shot three of four from two-point range and one of four from three-point range. So, they're at 50%. You, you yes. know, that's usually about where you want to be for a game if you can knock down 50% of your shots. Right. Um, the problem is – Crawford's right there, too. They've, yeah. they've knocked down 50% of their shots. And, you know, most of their shots have been inside with, with Siebert and Stroud. Uh, that's where they're trying to go, which, you know, kind of makes sense for them. That's kind of their M.O. So yeah. we've got to do a better job of finding those two guys down low. That last play, we got lost there a little bit. Stroud made the cut, and he was wide open under the bucket for an easy one. So well, nine like we, to six. Like we said, we're without Ian Rosenbaum. Yes, so that's a, that's a big, you know, 
a, a big inside that we're without. So. Exactly. Cameron with it. He'll throw it up. It'll come to Russell. Russell now gets it across to Colton Brown. In the corner, it'll go to Abels. Back to Brown. Brown out to Cameron. Now off. It'll come to Russell. He'll throw it across to Abels. Now back to Colton Brown. Now in the corner to Cameron. Jackson with it. Throws across court. Out to Abels. He'll kick it to Creezing. Cree pulls it down. Now it goes off to Brown. Brown will go baseline. Nice cut. Takes it in, can't score it, almost got his rebound, but Cree Zink there again for another rebound. Now he'll take it, he'll drive it, and he gets fouled going to the basket. Yeah. Cree nice, playing really well. Nice take there by Cree to get to the bucket. Titan Williams set to check in at the next uh, dead ball. Actually, he's going to get in now. Yeah. He came flying down the lane, did Cree Zink. That's a, a nice move for him. Yeah, he's done a nice job crashing the boards. He's got a couple rebounds here in this quarter, so nice job by uh, Cree. He'll throw it out high to Zink. He'll pull it down now. Kicks it off there. It comes to Russell. Russell spins, looks. Can't find anybody. Now goes to Titan Williams far side. Williams off to Cree Zink. Zink with it. Wheels around. Kicks it back to Williams. Williams going down baseline. Tipped away from him. Now he pulls it out. Gets it to Russell on the cut. Russell driving. And he lost, loses it, but he gets it out to Zink. Zink off to Williams now. Little sloppy here. You can tell we, you know, we got some kids that haven't played that much varsity, and now Zink drives it, can't score it, and the rebound pulled down by the Wolfpack. There's number 30 Belcher in the game. He gets the rebound. He'll kick it off there as it goes out high to 15 Quentin Bell. Now it'll come back out as it comes to number 30 Belcher. Now out to Stroud. Stroud off to Allen. Allen with it, kicks it down low to Siebert. He'll spin in the lane, throws it up a strong one. Can't get it to go. Good defense there by Titan Williams. And he'll get the board, gets it up. It'll come out to Russell, now to Colton Brown. He'll find Russell on the cut, and Russell will drive it and score. Nice bucket there by Holden to get down the lane and get his first two of the night. Absolutely, 11 to six now. Senators up by five here. Quentin Bell will bring it up. He was their quarterback on their football team. Yeah. A good athletic kid. He'll get it off to Allen. Allen, back out high, it'll come to Belcher. Belcher with it, back to Allen. Allen looking, finds Stroud inside. He'll pull it down, now goes baseline to Siebert. He spins, throws up a wild one. Ooh, doesn't get the shot, but he's fouled. Yeah, Titan Williams, I believe, gonna pick that one up. He had good position the first time. Hands were up, straight yeah. up, and took the, the brunt of that right to his chest. And then at, on the second effort, Hands came down, which is where he picked up the foul. So Titan with the first foul. That's the first Senator foul tonight, but Siebert will go to the line as he was shooting. Siebert was a 72% free throw shooter coming into this game. He knocks down the first one. That gives him five. Yeah, he leads them in scoring. He's got uh, five of their seven here. He'll go back to the line. Second free throw coming. It's up and down, so good form there. He knocks them both down. And it's 11 to eight, a three point lead for the Senators here. Abel's with it, gets it off. It'll come to Russell. Russell breaks the timeline, back over to Abel's far side. Now back to Russell, off to Cameron. Jackson with it here, right in front of us here on the near wing in front of the Crawford bench. He'll kick it back out to Williams. Williams holds it there. It looks like West Washington is gonna hold for the last second, or the last shot of the first quarter. Yeah, 15 to go. They'll get it to Russell. Russell now with 10. As he starts to go on the attack, seven, he'll get it off to Colton Brown, back to Russell. Russell will drive, kicks it in the corner, Cameron for an open three, and he buried it. He made him pay at the buzzer, so Jackson knocks down a big one, and the Senators lead 14-8 to eight here at the end of the first quarter. We'll add things up and come back here with you on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227. 227-9421 or just visit our website. All right, back here live, West Washington High School here in the T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium on the Ron Smith Court as the Senators in the first quarter up 
14 to 8 over the Crawford County Wolfpack. Senators, a uh, lot of balanced scoring here. Um, had uh, two players with three points, Cameron and Abels, both knocked down three pointers. And then you had four other Senators, Williams, Zink, Russell, and Colton Brown, all scoring a two point field goal. So good balance. And, um, you know, everybody's getting in on the action, that's for sure. So, yeah. Lead at 14 to 8, where Siebert and Stroud's the only scorers for Crawford at this point. Crawford will get the ball to start the second quarter. They'll kick it into Bell. Bell with it, gets it off to Allen here on the near wing. He looks inside, now goes back to Bell in the corner. Bell goes down low, it'll go to Siebert. Now he kicks it off. Allen on the far side, and he throws it away. Another turnover. And quickly up to Cameron. He'll pull it down, shoots a three ball. Ooh, in and out, can't get it to go. Ooh. And Siebert goes yeah. to the deck. Look. Holden's going to pick that foul yeah. up, but it was actually Nash Abels that ran into the yeah. back of Holden. <laughs> so Holden uh, with that foul. <laughs> Siebert's a big kid. And I, Holden looked like he was on the football field there yeah. as he fell into him, knocked him down. So a little pressure here by the Senators. Crawford gets it in. It'll come in. 34, Lynch with it. He checked in. Now they'll get it off the bell. Now across the timeline over to Siebert. Back to Lynch, he'll shoot it, no good. Rebound inside though by Bell. He goes up and he scores it. His first two point bucket of the night. So Quentin Bell with his first points. 14 to 10 now. Colton Brown back the other way. They'll get it out to Russell. He, he'll reset the offense here. He was here near side. Now off to Colton Brown. Colton with it. Pulls it down, gets it back to Russell. Russell off to Cameron, back to Russell. He'll kick it to Colton Brown, three ball in the air, and buried it, man. Yeah. Colton, he can drill him, and that was a deep one as he nails it out there pretty close to the volleyball line. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's his fifth point of the night, so. 17 to 10, back tipped out of bounds as Russell knocks it away from Bell, but it'll go back to the Wolfpack. And here comes Free Zink back in the game. I tell you, I like this rotation. Yeah. It keeps people fresh, and uh, Coach Cummings is doing a good job with that here tonight. Bell to inbound for the Wolfpack as he'll throw it in. Throws it out high. It'll come out high on the floor to Belcher. Belcher with it, gets it off to Allen. He looks inside, goes down low to Siebert. He'll spin, throws it away, though. Throws it into our cheer yeah. block over there. Looked like he was falling down when he caught it. He just kind of threw it up high. Yeah, that's the fifth turnover for the Wolfpack. Yep. We see Holden Russell come off for his first break of the night. Yep, Zink will come in for him. Cree to bring it up for the Senators. He'll get it across the timeline, gets it off to Cameron. Cameron, far side to Abels, now back to Cameron, out high to Brown. Now to Cree in the corner, he'll spin, drives in, kicks it back out to Colton Brown, now back to Cree Zink, he'll shoot the three and buried it. Nice shot, Cree. Cree's got five on a two-point bucket and a three-point bucket. Yep. 20 to 10 now, double them up here. Quickly back with it is Bell for the Wolfpack. He'll kick it out to Belcher. Belcher on the attack now. The dribbles inside on Cameron, and he yeah. scores it. Cameron got Cameron, guilty of the foul. Cameron got beat there as he went to the bucket. Yep, sure um, did. And then compounds it by picking up the foul also. So Belcher with his first bucket, and he'll get a free throw out of it as well. 20 to 12, and Belcher will go to the line. Crawford now with some subs back in as Stroud comes back in the game. Also number 10, uh, Sturgeon back in for the Wolfpack. As Belcher will go to the free throw line, chance to complete the old fashioned three point play as he nails the free throw. So 20 to 13, a seven point lead. Trees Inc. up quickly with it, drives, kicks it off to Colton Brown. Colton pulls it down, shoots another three. Ooh, in and out. In that and thing out. rolled all the way around. Rebound by Belchers. He'll bring it up quickly for the Wolfpack. He'll stop, now takes it to the rim and scores it. Belcher's looking to score here. He's got their last five points. Yeah, he went right into Jackson Cameron's chest. So 20 to 15 here. And Cameron will drive it now. He wants some of it. He can't get it to go though, but he got his own rebound. Kicks it out to Abels, now over to Brown. Brown back to Zink. Zink in the corner with it. Gets it out high to Williams. Over to Cameron, now far side. It'll go to Abels, back out high to Cree. Zink with it, he drives, pulls it down, shoots it off the elbow there from about six feet, can't get it to go, rebound pulled down. 
Sturgeon up quickly for the Wolfpack. Ooh, he almost traveled yeah. with it. Gets it off to Allen. He'll shoot the three off the mark. Rebound, Colton Brown. And he'll get it out to Cameron. Cameron with it up quickly. Brings it across, goes back to Colton Brown with it. Brown now off to Abels. Abels here, goes far side to Zink. 20 to 15 Senators, 444 to go here in this first half. Titan Williams with it, he'll take it. Dribbles inside, now kicks it out to Cameron, off to Colton Brown, back to Williams inside, tipped away, and now Colton steals it back. <laughs> timeout. Yeah, Coach Senators. Cummings gonna take that timeout. 431 to go here in this first you half. Could, you could tell that they were just a little out of sync. They didn't have they don't have either one of their their point guards who yeah. have run it all year. Um, you know, Kenton Chase is not here. Holden Russell was on the bench, so didn't have any true point guard out there at the moment. Now they did have quite a bit of ball handling, but yes. nobody's really setting up the offense for them. It's just a, a hard uh, situation for them at the moment. <coughs> when when Holden goes to the bench, one of those other guards has to step up and, and take control of the team. Yeah, and I think that's the youth show in there. You know, uh, Abels and, uh, and Cree Zink aren't used to doing that, although Cree has taken a little bit of control, and he's had some nice looks, just hasn't been able to get him to fall. Although he, um, you know, he's got five points in the game, so uh, he continues to look for his shot, and I'm, I, I'm glad to see that as he'll check out as uh, Russell will come back in here for Zink. Yeah, the lead was out to 10, and it's been yeah. cut back to five, so they get holding back on the floor very quickly. So Williams to inbound as he looks to get it in for the Senators. Kind of a tough place to kick it in. He gets it in to Brown. Holton with it, gets it off to Russell. Russell dribbles baseline, they leave him. He pulls up on the baseline and hits about an eight footer. <laughs> if you leave him, he's gonna yeah. knock that down. Nice shot, 22 to 15. He's got four. Back to a seven point lead here. Sturgeon will bring it up, goes far side as he kicks it in there to Allen. Now back out, it'll come to Belcher. He'll go behind the back to Sturgeon, back to Belcher in the corner. Belcher with it, looking. And he'll kick it back. It'll come to 34 Lynch, and he travels with it, turns it over. Six yeah, turnover. Turnover number six. So Siebert back in, so they didn't leave him out very long no. either. He's kind of been their bell cow. He's got six points to lead them in scoring. Senators will regain control here, 22 to 15. They lead it by seven, 358 to go in the first half. Cameron with it, gets it off to Colton Brown, back out high to Cameron. Far side, it'll go to Russell. Russell with it. Back off to Abels, now to Cameron. Cameron finds a cutter in Titan Williams' baseline. He'll go up with it, but he's fouled. Yeah, he gets fouled as he goes. We see uh, both Coach Halton and uh, Coach Cummings coaching up Nash Abels on where he should go with that. All right, they call that one on Belcher. That's his first, team's first here in this second quarter. So no free throws here, we'll inbound. And he'll throw it in. Will Holden Russell gets it in to Brown. Now far side, it'll go over to Abels. Abels back out to Russell. Russell with it on the attack, pulls it down, shoots it off the elbow, front of the rim, no good. Rebound Sturgeon as he'll pull it down and out of there for the Wolfpack. He's up quickly with it, kicks it out, comes to Stroud. Inside there it goes, number 20 with a wild shot up off the rim, no good. That was Sattler. And the rebound pulled down for the Senators. They'll give it back to Russell. We're going to see Tristan Brown check in at the next dead ball. And Russell gets it stolen away, so a turnover by him as Belcher comes out of the pack with it. He'll flip it over, and it'll go to Sattler, who will score his first bucket of the night. And it's 22-17, back to a five-point lead for the Senators. Abel's with it, gets it off to Russell. Russell now to Colton Brown. Colton far side to Abel's. Abel's back to Brown. He almost loses it, now jumps, kicks it out to Abels, out to Cameron, far side it'll go. Russell goes down on the baseline to Williams, back to Russell and another bad pass and stolen out of there by the Wolfpack. They try to run it up and they lose it. So Cameron takes it back and he'll bring it up quickly, gets it off to Abels, he'll pull it down, shoots one from deep, ooh, in and out. And the rebound pulled down there by Belcher for the Wolfpack. He'll get it off to Sturgeon. Lake and Belcher on the far side is kind of limping a little bit. He stepped kind of funny after his layup on the other side. Gotcha, it'll go uh, over to Sturgeon. He looks baseline, kicks it down low to Siebert, and he scores it, and he's fouled. So an and one again for the Wolfpack as Siebert will get the bucket here, 22. 
Yeah, Titan Williams 19. reaches down on that one. He looks back at the bench on what, what yeah. was going on, and it was him reaching down at it. If he yeah. keeps his hands straight up, he's fine, but he reached down, and Number two that's where he picked Titan. it up. Yep, so Siebert will go to the free throw line. He's been up there a couple times. He's perfect on the night, and a chance to cut this to a two-point game. His free throw's up, and it's good, so he makes him pay there, 22 to 20 here. Senators with 2.05 to go in the first half. Russell with it. He'll drive baseline, kicks it out. Zink back in the game now as he come in. And Tristan Brown as well. Zink loses it on the floor and a tie-up for the Wolfpack. And it'll go back to the Senators here. Stays with the Senators. Yeah. You know, it, Holden Russell going to take yep. the ball out. That's another thing with Ian not in the game. You know, he's the one who's usually taking the ball out of bounds. So Right. So he'll throw it in. Russell will throw it out high, and it's tipped away there. Belcher with a chance to steal it. He tries to save it. He does. He gets it to Siebert. Siebert can't score, but Stroud there for the easy bucket. Back up and in, and Stroud scores his fourth point of the night and ties the game at 22. Russell up quickly with it. We've been a little sloppy with the ball, and there's another tip by Belcher. He's all over the floor. He steals it, gets it off, and they'll score to Sattler. will take it to the hole, and a two-point lead for the Wolfpack here, 24-22, 125 to go. And I tell you, we've just gotten real, real sloppy with yeah, the basketball. Yeah, we, we haven't taken care of the ball very well here in the last three minutes, and, you know, that gives – that was the fourth turnover – on the fourth time down the floor for the Senators. They've got four turnovers, um, you know, the last four times down. Jackson Cameron gets hit on the knee, so he's he's going to take a, a quick breather here. But we're going to see um, four freshmen on the floor along with a junior. Yeah. So, hey, and we don't, you know, we really don't have any choice at yeah. this point um, because we're just uh, kind of walking wounded right now and, and with a couple guys out sick. So, you know, they've got to, got to play what they got to play. And we've done a pretty good job to the last two minutes. Yeah. And we just haven't taken care of the basketball. We've been real sloppy with it on our end and made some bad passes. And Crawford, you know, they the Belcher kid's been all over the court here. And he stole it away several times. I've got us for seven turnovers. Yeah, that's what I've got too. So, so and I think they've got seven as well. Yep. But, um, you know, both teams a little sloppy, but it's mainly been West Washington here in the last two and a half minutes. So the Senators will get it back down two here, 24-22. And they'll inbound and bring it the length of the court here, 125. I keep looking around this camera. I forget I get a camera right here. You set me up and I'm not even using it. They'll get it off there as Zink will pull it down. He kicks it out. Tristan Brown with it now, off to Colton Brown. Now far side to Abel's. Over to Zink. Zink with it, looking inside, trying to get it down low. And yeah, that's a kick on away. the far side. Tried to get it down to Brown, and he couldn't get it down there on the block. Um, so Tristan unable to get a hold of it, but it's kicked out of bounds. So it'll go back to the Senators here. Russell to inbound. He'll look. Throws it out high to uh, Brown. Colton Brown there. Two Browns. <laughs> yeah, you got you got to. Pick Colton which one. <laughs> Colton with it. He'll kick it to Tristan Brown now. Tristan off to Russell. He'll dribble far side, pulls it down. Now kicks it out to Zink. Zink pulls it down, drives. Nice spin move by Zink, and yep. he gets fouled going to the hoop. And that's going to be on Sturgeon, I believe. I'll tell you that, I like Cree off the dribble. Yeah, I like him off the dribble. The nice spin move there. And he'll go to the free throw line here as uh, he gets fouled in the act of shooting. So our first free throws of the night here as Zink steps up there. First one's up and it's good. Nothing but net there. Nice bucket there gives him, or nice free throw there. That gives him six. So here comes some more. Yeah, we're gonna see into the Brady game. Rosenbaum in the game. So we replace one freshman with another freshman. Yeah, it's all freshmen at this point. Zink, <laughs> the only uh, upperclassman out there, he shoots the second free throw, and it's good. And now he'll come out as Cameron will come back in. So ties the game at 24, 47 seconds to go here in this first half. Crawford inbound. They'll get it into Sturgeon. Sturgeon with it to kind of leave him 
by himself against uh, Rosenbaum. Starting across the timeline. Pulls it down. He oh, there's going to be a double yeah, dribble. He picked it up and then took off with it again. That's eight turnovers for them so far. We're going to see Tristan Brown. We're going to see a little offense for defense here. Yep. Nice job by Brady, Brady Rosenbaum to come in. Turnover. Yep. I mean, he was all over Sturgeon. So, the best uh, part is Brady Rosenbaum lost his seat on the bench, too, so he's trying to figure out where <laughs> he gets to sit down. <laughs> all right, so Russell to bring it across, gets it off to Cameron. 30 seconds to go here in this first half. Cameron with it. Gets it oh, tries to get it down low and throws it away. Another turnover by the center. So Crawford with a potential for the last possession here. They'll bring it across. Sturgeon gets it off. It'll come here to Sattler. Sattler pulls it back out and hands it off. It'll go to Belcher. Belcher with it. And almost stolen there by Russell. Gets on the floor. Now Brown drives in there. Good job. He gets it back to Russell. He'll shoot it. And no good. So we go into the half here tied. 24 all as both teams a uh, little sloppy there in that second quarter. But, uh, you know, Crawford fought their way back into it. They were down six, and they were able to outscore us in this second quarter to tie it at 24. Yeah, yeah. I've got some. You want me to run through points, or are you totaling them up as you're going there? No, okay. you can go ahead. Okay, well, I've got Cree Zinc for seven leading the way for the Senators, holding Russell with four. Um, oh, sorry, Colton Brown with five, right. Holden Russell with four, Jackson Cameron with three, Titan Williams with two, and Nash Abels with three to give us 24. Right. On the other side, I've got Quentin Bell. Nope, let me start over. Uh, Siebert has nine, Belcher with five, Sattler with four, uh, Nash Stroud with four, and Quentin Bell with two to give them 24. Yes, that's what I so, have as well. Shooting, the Senators were two of two from the free throw line for 100%. Crawford County, 4 of 4 for 100%. Senators were 2 of 11 from two-point range, 4 of 9 from three-point range, so 9 of 20 overall for 45%. Crawford was 10 of 15 from two-point range, 0 of 4 from three-point range. They were 10 of 19 for 52%. I had the Senators with 11 rebounds, Crawford with 8, and turnovers tied 8 apiece. Yeah, both teams turned it over a lot. Uh, half court shot going on. Oh, it looked pretty good. Oh, there. got the backboard, but didn't didn't fall through. Couldn't get it in. But anyway, um, yeah, great great first half. You know, we were playing without two of our starters. That's one thing you got to remember here. Um, so you know, hopefully, the second half we'll get one of those back, and uh, we'll see what happens here. We're going to take a break. Hear a word from the sponsor. This game tied at 24 here at the half, and you're listening to Senator Sports here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington Livestream and WWSR. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions big and small to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community.
It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. And Paul, thank you so much for taking time to be with us. We are in tournament time we're in tournament mode girl sectionals this week uh we had uh, uh, wrestling last saturday girl swimming coming up this weekend it is a tremendous time of year for our student athletes around the state you know we we've walked this walk a few times but you know every year this this new tournament season brings a, a new level of excitement you know it's you, you know you have your regular season and that's been done and the girls certainly just finished up their regular season and And uh, now they get to see if all the practice has paid off, and and they're going to march through this tournament and and hopefully achieve some of their goals. And we also know teams will not. But at the end of the day, participation in an education-based athletic system is much more than tournament success. And that's one thing we'll always be proud of. But, uh, you know, the other thing, Coach, with uh, girls' basketball, uh, we have a phenomenal partner in the Fever. And actually, some of the Fever players are out around the state attending girls' sectionals tonight. We so appreciate their sports and, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Their, their support and being able to uh, also promote what the Fever does. And I think they're going to have a special year this year. I agree 100%. You and I have the luxury of time behind us. We've lived these experiences as as student athletes, as being members of the athletic community. And uh, always tell parents and always tell kids, enjoy this, because this is a lifelong memory for you, and, and do it and do it the right way. It matters. It matters for all kids. And we're so proud of being able to keep an education-based athletic system that's focused on the classroom first and also focused on the last kid who makes a team. That's, we have to make sure what we do is good for that kid, not all kids. I mean, and, and, and in turn, that makes right. it good for all kids. Paul Knightig joining us. We're talking about the IHSAA. All right, Paul, reclassification is a topic that's out there coming up very soon. You're going to be releasing uh, the Department of Education enrollment figures around the state to begin this process. And just as a reminder for everyone, reclassification is every two years, correct? That's right, Coach, every two years. And as I often have said, uh, you know, there will be a lot of – this is one of the things that we do that awful, often – um, brings a lot of debate to the table, you know, but that's okay because it matters to people, uh, you know. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. The, the, the thing that I often say is that everybody out there that cares about what we do can draw a perfect tournament for their school. And certainly we'll hear about that also along the way, and, and I understand that too. But, yeah, we're ready to get ready to begin. The, the actual numbers will be released in the coming days. Once those numbers are out, then we'll start putting – uh, we've already begun putting committees together. And one big change this year, Coach, is that uh, mm-hmm. we used to divide classes even because of the disparity between the size of the schools that we have in the state. Uh, the largest 20, 20% of the schools in the state will be in 4A, then we'll have 25% in 3A, 25% of the schools in 2A, and 30% in 1A. And that's simply because not all of our 1A schools participate in all sports. Right. Uh, is why we put a few more schools in single class. And the, the other change this year is we have a, 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 we're going to be aligning sectionals across all four class sports to where your basketball, girls and boys, your volleyball, baseball, mm-hmm. softball sectionals will have uh, the same opponents. Maybe a slight adjustment with success factor, but you're going to be, those schools are going to be playing each other in all four class tournaments. And then we have another committee that does a three class tournament. And then, obviously, the six-class football tournament is our third committee that starts putting these sectionals together. The commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Knighting, with us talking about all things IHSAA-related. Commissioner, be safe, you and your staff, when you're traveling, watching games. Thanks so much for your time, and thanks for all that you and your staff do to make sports, high school sports in our state, matter at the level that it does. Thanks so much. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate everything you do uh, in this great state. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. 
All right, welcome back here live West Washington High School as the Senators tied up here with the Crawford County Wolfpack in tonight's uh, game here at the half. And it's kind of a tale of two quarters. You know, the Senators got a good start. They led 14 to eight at the end of that first quarter and done a pretty good job. Actually pushed the lead out to 10. They were up 20 to 10 at one point. And, and then we got turnover itis. Uh, we kind of started not making good passes and uh, Crawford uh, fought their way back into it, outscored a 16 to 10 in the second quarter to tie the game up here at 24 apiece. So we'll see what happens here with the uh, second half. The Senators should get Ian Rosenbaum back here um, to uh, start this third quarter. So that that could help things. But I'll tell you, kudos to the to the kids that filled in there. They played really well. Yeah, they played really well and, in that uh, first half. You know, it really wasn't them that were making the mistakes. You know, they they really didn't turn it over or hurt us any at all. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, Kreese Zink was leading us in scoring, so we may have to find a way to get him on the floor more <laughs> um, because he's able to score the basket. And, uh, you know, he had seven to – uh, lead us in scoring. They were led in scoring by Siebert, uh, you know, who had nine points. So we'll start the uh, third quarter here with Cameron, uh, Colton Brown, Titan Williams, Ian Rosenbaum. Uh, we'll start the second half and uh, Russell on the floor for the Senators. Wolfpack will start it. They'll get the ball first. Sturgeon to Belcher, now down low to Siebert. He goes in strong and scores it again. So he's up to double digits. That's his 11th point and a two-point lead here, 26-24. Wolfpack with a little pressure here. They'll come off. We'll get it over to Colton Brown. Needs to get it across the timeline. He does. Now they go right back to him. He'll drive baseline, tipped out of bounds by the Wolfpack. So it'll go back to Crawford. Has uh, number 20 there, Sattler, uh, kicked it out of bounds uh, off his hand, so to go Colton Brown in the corner, he'll inbound to Russell. I'm glad that got in there because that's yeah, a weird place that's to inbound. That's a bad too. place to inbound. <laughs> Russell off to Cameron, back to Russell, now to Williams, off to Colton Brown here. Colton looking inside, gets it off to Rosenbaum. He'll pull it down, now back to Brown. Colton with it, drives it, now kicks it out. Cameron, wide open three, and those just rimmed it off to the side. Rebound pulled down by Stroud. He'll get it off to Sturgeon. Sturgeon to bring it up with a two-point lead. He'll get it across, pulls it down. Now goes inside to Stroud. Stroud looking down low to Siebert. Can't get it to him. Goes far side as they get it over there to Sattler. Now out high. It'll come to Belcher. Belcher looking. Now gets it off. And they go down low to Siebert. He'll kick it back out. And a three up by Sturgeon. No good. And tipped by Siebert, but pulled down and out of there by Colton Brown for the Senators. Russell up quickly with it, goes in the corner. Cameron again with a quick trigger, and he gets that one. As he makes him pay his second three-pointer of the night, and he gives the Senators a one-point lead here, 27-26. Back the other way, Sturgeon gets it knocked away from him out of bounds. As uh, it'll go back to the Wolfpack here. Yeah, the Senators kind of converged on him right there at half court, used the half court line as a, a third defender. All right, Sattler to inbound now for the Wolfpack. So he'll get it in. It'll come into Belcher. He'll go baseline. Nobody cuts him off. He loses it, and it goes out of bounds. It'll go back to Crawford. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. I thought that one went off his leg, but mm -hmm. maybe, uh, maybe another angle over there. We could have back tipped it, but I didn't see anybody touch it. It looked like Belcher was just going baseline and then the ball just come loose. So inbound, Sattler to throw it in. He'll throw it out high to Belcher. Belcher now down low to Siebert. He'll spin, nice move, can't get it to go though. Rosenbaum there for the rebound. He'll get it off to Russell, back to Rosenbaum. He'll go off to Colton Brown, now back out to Russell. Russell, Cameron, now to Rosenbaum in the corner. He looks down low, gets it back out to Cameron. Now off to Russell. Russell back to Rosenbaum, back to Russell, far side Colton Brown. Brown off to Cameron. He'll shoot another deep three, and he's heating up. Yep. That's his second one here in a row. He's and got nine. 30 to 26 now, four-point lead for the Senators. Good defense there on Sturgeon. They try to trap him again. He gets away from it. Now they've cross-courted over to Belcher, down low to Siebert. He spins, goes in strong, and one. 
And see, that kid is really good in the paint. And we had to foul him there, but he scores the basket. Yeah, we got a replay there of that one coming back. You just yeah. see him make that nice spin move underneath. Wasn't much of a foul on the replay there that I seen, but they kind of hacked at him, and that's going to get you that call every time. Yeah. So uh, 30 to 28, and Siebert back at the line. He's perfect three for three up there tonight. Another three-point play here for him if he can knock down the free throw, and he does. So Gives him 14. Yeah, one-point game here, 30 to 29. He's got half their points. Russell up quickly for the Senators, brings it across the timeline. He kicks it far side to Cameron and a push. Yeah, going to get a foul over yeah, there. Jackson Jackson threw that one into the backcourt. He got fouled on that one for sure. Yeah, Allen was all over him, and that's his first foul, team's first. Rosenbaum to inbound at about the half-court line here. We'll throw it in the backcourt. It'll come in to Titan Williams. Yeah, I'm, I'm not so Titan sure he won point. Want Titan, want Titan playing <laughs> point on that one. He gets it back to Rosenbaum. He'll drive it, kicks it out to Russell. He'll shoot a three and it airballed it, and it hit the line. So it'll go back to the Wolfpack here. Holding Russell here in that one from yeah. the student section over here. Quentin Bell will check back in. He'll come in for Sattler. He'll go to the bench. And Bell will bring it up for Crawford as he brings it across the timeline. He'll kick it off to Belcher. Belcher with it here looking. 2-3 zone here by the Senators. They go to Allen. Now back over to Bell. Bell kicks it cross court to Allen. He'll go baseline. It's probably a good move yeah, here. Yeah, Senators really collapsing yeah, that. On Siebert. Bell or Allen with the three-pointer, no good, but Siebert with the offensive board. It goes off his foot. Oh, nope. They said it went off Rosenbaum's foot. Yeah, apparently that goes off Rosenbaum's foot. So, so it'll go back to Crawford, though, inbound underneath their own bucket. Abels will check in for Titan Williams. So Ian moves over to the center of this 2-3 zone while Nash Abels takes one of the wings. They'll kick it in to Bell. Back in the corner, Belcher with the three, and he got it. Nash got beat twice on that same play in that corner. Didn't see the first one and then didn't get out on the second one. Crawford back with a two-point lead, 32 to 30. Abel's with it, far side to Colton Brown. Brown back to Cameron, far side. It goes to Russell. Russell pulls it down, looks inside, nothing there. Now he finds Rosenbaum on the cut. Ian with it. He draws the crowd. He's going to say there's out. three there. Somebody's got to be open. Colton Brown now will shoot a deep three. He can't get it to go. And the rebound pulled down and chased down there by Stroud in the corner. He'll get it off the bell. Bell will bring it up. 32-30. Crawford with a two-point lead here. 349 to go in this third quarter. And Bell with the basketball. He'll look. Gets it off to Allen. Allen goes down low. Stolen by Rosenbaum. And nobody goes and gets the ball. And then we foul as Stroud cuts to the lane. I'll tell you, we had two guys stand there and just look at yeah. it. Yeah, just nobody moved. Going to be a foul on Holden Russell. Yeah, Russell will get his second foul, team second here. And that Stroud goes to the line, only a 46% free throw shooter on the year. So, yeah, well, he might be the guy we want up there. Well, so we'll have two free throws coming. First one's up. That one looked awful good, though. Yeah. As he buries it, 33-230, now a three-point lead. That's their biggest lead of the night. Titan Williams checks into the game for Colton Brown. And Stroud will go back to the line here. Second free throw coming. It's up, and he gets them both. Stretches that lead out to four. Yep, 34-30. to 30. Russell now brings it up for the Senators. He'll drive it, now kicks it off to Rosenbaum, gets tipped away from him, he gets it back. Now he drives it, pulls it down, kicks it out to Russell. Holding around the screen, he'll shoot it, and he gets fouled from behind as Belcher got into him there. Yeah, Holden makes a nice move to get up in the air and then gets fouled as he's in the air trying to shoot that one, so. He'll go to the free throw line. We talked about it on the other end, Holden's only a 28% free throw shooter yeah, on the year. He does not shoot free throws well for a guard. 
That one up, in and out, no good. He'll go back to the line, Colton Brown back in, Sturgeon back in for the Wolfpack. And Russell with his second free throw coming here. Second one's up, that one goes in. 34-31, back to a three-point lead. Sturgeon to inbound, full court pressure here by the Senators. They'll get it into Siebert, back to Sturgeon. They'll break it, get it across the bell. He'll take it, baseline, gets cut off there. And a bump foul there on Jackson Cameron. Yep, gonna be his second. Yep, wasn't much there, but he did kind of bump him there. Jackson Cameron, his first team third. 34-31 Crawford. They'll inbound underneath their own bucket here. Bell to get it in, he'll bring it in to Siebert. He'll pull it down, shoot a three. Hadn't seen him do that, but he's doing nope. it all. Got 17. Yep. He's having a heck of a game here. He only averages 13, so he's already above his season average. 37-31, biggest lead of the night for Crawford at six points. Colton Brown with it, far side. Now off to Russell. Russell finds Rosenbaum, cutting. He'll pull it down, shoot it off the elbow, and got it. His first bucket of the night, 37-33. Bell with it, gets trapped. Now gets it up to... Stroud, now back to Bell, he'll take it and kind of blocked there by Rosenbaum. He pulls it down, gets it back to Russell. That's what we got to do. Yeah. Get some stops, I'll get it to Colton Brown. He'll step in, now kicks it out to Rosenbaum. Beat three, no good. Titan Williams there for the board, back up and in. Nice bucket there yep. for him. We're gonna see that one on replay coming at you. Yeah, well, nice job there by Titan as he pulls it down. And Sturgeon guilty of the foul. Williams gets the bucket. So that cuts it to a two-point yeah. lead here, 2.24 to go. Titan Williams going to step to the line, 68% free throw shooter on the year. And he'll have one free throw, chance to get the three-point play, and he does. So a one-point game here, 37-36, Wolfpack. They'll get it into Bell. Bell over to Stroud, better pressure him. They get it off to Sturgeon. He'll bring it across now. Breaks the pressure, and he traveled with it, but gets it off the bell, and he can't get her out and couldn't get it to go. Now Bell gets it. He'll pull it down on the rebound. He'll get it back out to Sturgeon. 2.04 to go here in the third quarter. We'll pack 37, Senators 36. Allen with it. Now back out to Sturgeon. 2-3 zone here by the Senators again. Far side, it'll go to Bell. Back to Sturgeon. And kicked out of bounds by Holden Russell there. Actually, Holden got his hand on that one. Did he? Was it yeah, his hand? It was his I couldn't hand. see if his foot or his hand. So, nice job there by Holden Russell with his fast hands, able to get that one and deflect it out of bounds. So Bell to inbound. He'll get it into Sturgeon in the backcourt. Sturgeon brings it across. Cameron on him. From his far side, kicks it off to Bell. Bell trapped over there with it in the corner, gets it down low to Stroud. He'll go in strong and score it. As he got behind the defense there and able to score. I guess Stroud, eight, eight point. Yep. 39, 36, back to a three-point lead. Now Cameron with it. Inside it goes to Williams. He'll wheel around, and he gets fouled yeah, he gets by bumped. Siebert. Siebert picks up his second foul. Wolfpack fans not happy about that. Uh, they're not happy about much of anything, I don't think, and I shouldn't say that, but <laughs> typically they, they bring a boisterous crowd. Let's just put it that way. Russell to inbound underneath his own bucket. He'll get it in. It'll come into Cameron now at high to Brown. Colton with it, back to Russell now. He'll get it off to Rosenbaum, back to Russell. Off to Colton Brown here on the near wing. Far side to Rosenbaum, he beats everybody, takes it. Easy layup by yep. Ian there as he gets his fourth point. Nice bucket there for Ian down the lane, cuts that lead to one. 39-38 here, Bell back the other way, under a minute to go in the third quarter. We might have another overtime game. Oh, I hate don't to say that, that one. Stroud back in the, uh, out to Sturgeon and he buries the three, his first bucket of the night. 42-38, back to a four-point lead here. Russell back the other way. Bell picks him up, and he'll kick it off to Colton Brown. Colton with it, back to Russell. 
Now Sewell with 15 seconds now. Down the screen from Williams. Gets it off to Colton Brown. Brown looking, goes around, gets it back to Rosenbaum, give and go. Rosenbaum scores it. Nice bucket by Ian there again. So 42 to 40 here at the end of the third quarter. As we'll go to the fourth quarter, we'll pack up two here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Back here live at West Washington High School. As the Senators trail by two here, 42 to 40. As we start the fourth quarter, West Washington will have the ball to start. Sen or the Wolfpack outscoring West Washington 18 to 16 in that quarter. We were tied at the half at 24. So both teams kind of heating up offensively. Russell to bring it across. He'll get it off to Rosenbaum. Far side back to Russell. Now to Cameron. Off to Colton Brown. Colton wheels around, gets it to Rosenbaum. He looks at the three, spins, pulls it down. Baseline, or uh, at the free throw line, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down there by Sattler for the Wolfpack. He'll get it off to Sturgeon. Sturgeon breaks the pressure, drives in the lane, throws up a wild one, and Titan Williams with the board. He'll get it off to Russell. Russell goes in the corner, it's tipped away, goes to Cameron. Back to Russell, he kicks it to Rosenbaum. Ian back in the corner, Cameron's three up off the mark, no good, rebound Colton Brown, and he gets fouled on the rebound as he gets pushed. Well, goes down to the ground hard, yeah. so. That was Bell, I believe, guilty, number 15. Nope, nope, they give it Colton to Sattler. Second. First of the fourth quarter, Russell then bound. He finds Rosenbaum on the cut. Oh, oh and he can't couldn't, score it. Couldn't Man, get that it one to drop. around all over the rim, but didn't go down. That's on Belcher, and that's his third. Team second here real quickly. Rosenbaum, 65% free throw shooter on the year, going to shoot this one. Yeah, he'll go to the line for a couple. First one's up, and it's good. 42-41. Abel's back in the game. He'll come in for Williams. Stroud will check back in for the Wolfpack. Belcher will go to the bench with three fouls. And Rosenbaum awaiting his second free throw here. Tie the game at 42 if he knocks it down, and he doesn't. Off the back of the rim, hard. Rebound pulled down by Sattler. He'll get it off to Sturgeon, now to Bell. Bell with it. Colton Brown on him, and they're going to get Colton for the foul. Yeah, that's Colton's first. Back to inbound, no pressure yeah, here by the they center. Were, they were set, ready to yeah. stack it up, didn't really need to. They dropped back in that 2-3 zone here, just trying to limit Sattler down low. Ball will come back to Bell, now far side to Sturgeon. Sturgeon looking, throws it inside there, almost on the way, but yeah. uh, Sattler got it back. Now oh, that's going to be a travel. Yep, turnover there by the Wolfpack. I've only got that as their second turnover yep, of this half, so that's, that's 10 total. Allen will come back in. He'll check in for Sturgeon. Senators down one here, 42-41, but they'll have the basketball. It'll come in to Holden Russell. He'll bring it up. Crosses the timeline with it. Gets it off to Colton Brown. Colton beats everybody baseline. Now kicks it out to Rosenbaum. Back to Brown. 
Brown wheels around, throws it up high for Rosenbaum. Baseline, he kicks it out. Abel's in the corner, and he buried it. Three-pointer, nice shot there by Abel. Yeah, that's his second three-point bucket of the night, so he's that's got a big six. 44-42, Senators up two. Bell with it. He'll pull it down, gets it off to Allen, back to Bell. He'll dribble inside that zone, now kicks it out. Two number 20 there, Sattler. Now far side it comes to Allen. Allen back to Bell. Far side, Sattler. He'll pull it down, shoots off the elbow, and got it. He's got six. Yep. That ties it at 44. 44 all. Russell back to Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum off to Abels. He looks inside, back to Rosenbaum. He'll pull it down now, dribbles, trying to get it to Williams. Now gets it back to Abels, out high to Colton Brown, far side to Russell. Russell with it, dribbles, kicks it off to Rosenbaum. He loses it, and the ball on the floor. Stroud dives for it, tries to get it away, and a timeout going to be called here. <laughs> Takes a full timeout there. We're going to yeah. step aside for a commercial break. Ties, tie score here, 44 all, 535 to go in the fourth. Lynx Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. Back here live, 5.35 to go here in this fourth quarter. Tied at 44 as the Senators turn it over. It'll go back to the Wolfpack here. Senators got to find some offense yeah. out of somebody. You know, they've done a nice job. Ian's come in in the third and start of the fourth quarter and gotten seven seven points. Yeah, um, Abel's able to knock down that three. I mean, we may have to have them shoot some. Him and Cameron going to have to find a way to get open. Bell with it for the Wolf Pack. Picked up there by Cameron, top of key. He'll drive it into the free throw line. Now kicks it out to Sattler. Sattler with it inside to Siebert. Now it'll come to Allen. He'll go baseline, throws it away. Nice steal there by Titan Williams. And he gets it off to Russell. Russell brings it up quickly. He falls down, gets it off to Williams. Nice job there by Titan as he controls it. Gets it off to Rosenbaum. Ian. And a foul going to be called as a reach there by Sattler. He just picked up yeah. his third. Just reached in on that yeah. one. He's trying to hound Holden, which is exactly what it, he should be doing, but right. reached in on that one. So Russell will bring it over. He gets it across the timeline. Dribbles out high with it. Goes far side. Now goes baseline. Gets cut off there, and he traveled. So Man, I don't I'm know about sure that one. about that. It looked like he got tripped. But. <clears throat> Score still tied 44 all. Yep. Been turnover-itis again, both teams here. So pressure by the Senators. They'll go full court here. Ian Rosenbaum on the top of that. They'll kick it in. It'll come into Stroud. Stroud with it. Gets it to Bell. He'll break it as he gets it across the timeline. Now puts it uh, down there to Sattler. Sattler with it. Back out. Or excuse me. That was Belcher. Now off to Bell. Bell with it. Off to Sattler now. Sattler out high to Stroud. Far side. Belcher throws it inside a steal again there. Another turnover by the Wolfpack. They get it off to Rosenbaum, and he yeah, drives gonna, it, and he gets fouled. He's going to pick up a foul there. Nice run outlet by Ian to get down the uh, lane. So That's going to be against Belcher. That's his fourth. He just come back into the game, too, and the Island will have to check back in for him here. Rosenbaum will go back to the line. He's one of two up there. On the night. They call that on 30 or 20? 20. They it's give it to 20. 20. Okay, so he's got four. 
Rosenbaum rims the first free throw in. Take a one point lead, 45-44. As number 20, Sattler will go out. Yep. Belcher will stay in, he only has three. And Rosenbaum will go back to the line. Second free throw coming. It's up and good. Nothing but net there, so he hits them both. 46-44, a two-point senator lead. Belcher with it, gets it across to Allen. Allen trapped there, now back over to Belcher. Belcher across to Allen and almost thrown by Cameron. Cameron gets a hand on that one, just tips it. That's a great kind of read there yeah. from the DB on the football team. He's, yeah. he's used to seeing he's that. used to doing that, and he done nice coverage there. He's in cover three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll get it in to Belcher. 2-3 zone by the Senators. Belcher off to Bell. Coach Lowry may take some uh, <laughs> take some some of that credit. Yeah, off to Stroud. Now to Allen. Allen back to Belcher. Now they go baseline to Stroud. Throw cross court to Bell. He'll drive inside the lane. Kicks it back out. Three-pointer up. And off the mark. Tipped back. And Allen chases it down and tries to save it, but he steps on the out-of-bounds line. So... He goes about turnover. three rows up in the uh, stands I also. Got five turnovers on them here in the second half. Is yep. that what you got? Yep. So uh, fifth turnover by the Wolfpack here. So they'll give it back to the Senators. Titan Williams playing point guard again. <laughs> He'll bring it up and hands it off to Colton Brown. Colton with it. Dribbles far side. Now kicks it out to Abels. Abels off to Rosenbaum here on the near wing. Out to Williams. Titan top of the circle. Goes on the attack, dribbles in there, and they're going to call another foul. Yeah, that, we're getting into uh, shooting range here. Yeah, we should be. That was the fifth foul, so team foul. So yeah. that'll put us in the bonus. Williams will go to the line. A couple free throws coming. He shot one tonight, and he's perfect. I probably just jinxed him. Nah. Nope, he's going to knock both of these down. I hope you're right. Tighten at the line, first free throws up, and he hits it. Stretches that lead out to three. He's got six points on the night. Chance to add to his total here. That gets him his season average. He wants to go above right now Absolutely. with this free throw. Second free throws up, and oh, rims out. So 47-44, three-point lead here by the Senators. 3.23 to go here in the fourth quarter. Sturgeon with it. He'll get it across to Allen. Allen back to Sturgeon now. 2-3 zone by the Senators. They've stayed in that pretty much the whole second half here. Sturgeon with it. It's a two Stroud. Back to Sturgeon. He'll go in the corner. Belcher pulls it down, shoots the three, and he buried it. Yeah, he just caught that one right in rhythm and stroked it. That's his 11th point. Ties the game up 47. Russell brings it up for the Senators. Crosses the timeline with 2.52 to go. Now they go inside to Rosenbaum. He'll pull it down off the elbow. Can't get it to go. Battle for the board inside. Seifert, Siebert pulling it down for the Wolfpack. Tied at 47. Crawford with the ball. 2.30 to go. Sturgeon pulls it down. And he'll be content there. Now goes far side to Allen. Allen back to Sturgeon, back to Allen. He'll go baseline to Siebert. Out high, it'll come to Sturgeon. Sturgeon off to Allen. And a timeout called here with 2.15. Yeah, Crawford just kind of out of sync there. Yeah. Weren't really getting their offense running. Coach calls a timeout just to get that kind of back I, under control. I thought maybe they were just going to hold it there well, and make well. us come out of that zone. Yeah, well, um, with a tie score, I don't know that you. But you can't really. Yeah. You, you know, know if, so you're, if you're down, you definitely can. Mm -hmm. If you're up, yeah, stand there and hold it. But, you know, with a tie score, I don't think you, you really want to hold yeah, it for the next two minutes. Yeah, you want to run your offense. And, um, you know, I, they could. You know, they could hold for the last second shot. But, um, you know, you're probably going to try to run your offense and get it down low to Siebert. He's been, their, uh, he's been their bell cow, but he hasn't scored here in the fourth quarter. Right. So if we can uh, keep the ball away from him. The guy you got to watch is Belcher. He's kind of heated up here. Had two three-pointers in the second half. Yeah, they got two in double digits. Siebert with 17 and Belcher with 11. So. Yeah. 
He's kind of been their guy here in the second half. So tied at 47. Senators still waiting to get their first person into double digits. Ian has nine, and Jackson Cameron has nine, but neither, you know, nobody yet in double digits for the Senators. Yeah, we've been balanced uh, scoring wise. Yeah, but, every, uh, everybody who's gotten in the game has scored at least five points. So. So we'll come back on the floor here, tied at 47. Crawford County ball with 2.15 to go here in this fourth quarter. Belcher two inbound. He'll throw it in the backcourt to Sturgeon. Sturgeon will dribble it, now brings it across. We're back to man-to-man -to -man here. They get it off to Belcher. Belcher inside, it'll go to Stroud. He'll dump it down low to Siebert. He'll spin, goes up, and got it. Yep, nice bucket there by him with his back to it. So. That's his game. We get it up quickly to Colton Brown. Back to Russell. Russell pulls it down. Senators down two here with 150 to go in the ball game. Brown with it. Goes far side to Rosenbaum. Ian looking, gets it down to Russell. Baseline, he drives it, gets cut off. Now back out to Colton Brown over to Rosenbaum. Ian with it. Spins, goes nice move in the lane, throws it up. Ian can't get it to go. Looks like he got fouled. Siebert with the rebound gets it off to Allen. Now you got to do something with it here. They get it to Belcher. Belcher gets fouled. Russell going to pick that one up. It's his third, but we got fouls to get, yeah, and we, that's why you got a foul here because that well, that's was the thing. You got a second. You got a foul soon, and you know you don't want to give up a whole lot of time here no. wasting these fouls. No, because we're down two, and Abels will check in for Williams here. We got uh, three more fouls to give here. They'll get it in the back quarter. It'll come into Allen, get it off the Belcher, and Cameron comes up and fouls him, his third. 49-47, one eighteen to go. Only the third team foul, so a couple more to give before they shoot free throws. They'll get it into Sturgeon. Sturgeon. Control. Oh. And Russell tried to back tip it. That's his fourth foul. He can't get any more here. Bell will check in for Stroud. And Bell will inbound with 1.14 to go. Timeout is going to be called by West Washington. Yeah, let's step away, take a timeout here. Hear from the youth. Uh, Prevention Council we will be back in just a moment here on WWSR and West Washington live stream. In every family, small conversations can make a big impact. I grew up on tour with my parents. Kind of different, but we bonded over music and we talked. Honest conversations, like when my dad shared his experiences as an alcoholic. Your honesty gave me a sense of integrity that I wanted in my own life. And I wanted you to know from someone who's been in recovery more than 30 years now, that hard work is what creates success, not alcohol or other drugs. In whatever you do, talk, they hear you. Uh, Allen, he hasn't scored. Yeah. So. Either one, one's, four, one's a 45% free throw shooter, Belcher's a 57%. So okay. we're back live here on WWSR. Bubba and I discussing what are we gonna <laughs> do? We're gonna foul right. somebody. Yeah, I think you. <laughs> I think you fouled one of those two, either uh, Allen or Belcher, as you mentioned. Neither one of them uh, shooting it real well from the stripe. But, um, you know, Crawford with a two-point lead, you can't just let them dribble this thing out. And it'd be nice to get a couple possessions here before uh, the game ends. They get it into Belcher, now off the bell. Bell with it, far side dribbles. Russell can't foul him because he's got four. Gets it off to Sturgeon. Sturgeon. Off the Belcher and a foul and there by Cameron. That was his fourth. So well, that'll put him at the line. That's who. That's who that's I picked one the of foul. The guys, so. Yeah. So we'll see what he does. He's one for one up there tonight. So he'll step up there for two pretty important ones. Titan yeah. Williams going to check in at the next dead. Uh, actually, after this free throw, yeah. not at the next dead ball. So Belcher's free throws up and he got it. Perfect. Two for two tonight. 50, 47, a three-point lead here. 102 to go. We'll shoot the second free throw. And that was 
hard off the rim. Rebound pulled down by Williams. So one possession game here. Colton Brown up quickly. Nobody cuts him off. He drives it. Blocked. Out to Cameron, to Russell, now to Rosenbaum. He'll shoot a three off the mark, and the rebound Crawford Belcher gets fouled on the rebound. And we'll see who that one's against. That's on Cameron. That's it for him. That's yep. his fifth. That's his fifth, so he's going to come out. And Belcher will go back to the line. Shooting a couple free throws up. 50 to 47 here with 48 seconds to go. Abels will have to check back in. So Belcher will go to the free throw line, chance to make it a two possession game. If he can hit one of two, it's two possession game. First one's up, and it bounces in, hits the front, hits of, the rim, front of the rim and trickles in. over. 51-47. So now that changes things. We got to get down and get a quick two here, or a three if it's uh, open, but uh, if, especially if he hits his second one. Second free throws up, and he got them both. 52-47. We get it into Russell. He'll drive it. Takes it, kicks it off to Rosenbaum. Ian drives, goes in strong, and got it. Timeout call by the Senators. 52-49 here. That makes it a three-point game. Yep. Senators going to have to foul quickly yep. as the ball gets in. Go for a go for a steal. If you don't get a steal, get that foul, um, and then you know make it a free throw game from here. Well, and I, you know, Belcher's done his job at the line. He's. Uh, you know, four or five up there tonight, even though he hadn't shot it real well in the season. I think if they give the ball to Allen, you foul him. He hasn't scored in this game, and you said that he wasn't a very good free throw shooter. Yeah, he's 45% on yeah. the year. So you don't want to foul Siebert. Uh, he's perfect at the line. Yeah, Stroud wouldn't be bad. He's 46% also. So. Yeah. But it's it, you know, you've got to turn it into a free throw contest from here. It, there, there's no option. Right. Yeah, you don't have a choice. So, you got to foul quickly too, um, because if they do hit free throws, then you know they could make it a, another two possession game here. So, need to get a quick foul on the inbound here. I'm sure they're going to try to inbound it to somebody that uh, shoots free throws well. Yeah. <laughs> Bell will take it out, and um, he will inbound. They'll get it into Sturgeon. Oh, man, we let him get yeah. away. That gets it to Allen. That's the guy you want to foul. Now they get it to Sturgeon. They'll foul him. Abel's, Abel's going to pick up that pick foul. Pick up that foul. Yeah, we let quite a bit of time go off the clock yeah, too there. Too much. It was, it was, 31 seconds now, and Sturgeon will go to the line. What's he shooting it on the year? Uh, I don't have his okay. on the year, so. He'll step up there. First free throws up. Looks hard off the back of the rim. No good. He's in a freshman. Come, yeah, in comes Nash Stroud. That's, yeah. that's another one that you can get fouls on. So Sturgeon will have another one coming here. Three-point game, 52-49. We'll step up there for the second one. It's up, hard off the back of the rim, tipped out. And Belcher comes down with it. Don't want to foul him. But we did, because we had to. 26 seconds now. That's going to be on Abel's his second. And Belcher will go to the line. Yeah, like we said, this is not one that you want to foul. No, so. he's, he's hit uh, four out of five, but that one hard off the back of the rim, no good. So they're giving us every opportunity. Yeah, we're, we got to rebound they, the basketball, though. They're trying to give it to us. Yep, trying to give us a chance anyway. Three-point lead for the Wolfpack. Belcher with the second free throw coming here. It's up, and he goes down. 
53-49, they'll take a timeout. So now the Senators down four. You got to come down and get, basically you're in the same position you were before. Yes. Come down, get a two-point two bucket and a foul. Got to get a quick one and then foul. You know, and if, if the three is open on your drive, you can kick and, you know, shoot the three, but you still have to foul after that. Yeah, I tell you, we've really had a tough year with the conference opponents. Yeah. We haven't won a conference game, have no. we? And, uh, you know, Crawford, uh, kind of our last opportunity, we've played everybody else. Um, you know, and, and three or four of those games have been overtime games, you know, so um, – We've got to get the ball up the floor quickly here and get a two-point shot and then uh, play the foul game, like you said, but 26 seconds, and they're going to bring pressure here. Colton Brown to inbound. He'll get it in to Russell. Russell loses it for a second, breaks the pressure, now gets it. Uh, nope, takes it, drives it, and scores it. There's a bucket for him. 51, 53, and timeout called. Yep, going to be a timeout. Going to be a full timeout. We're going to step aside for a 30-second commercial from American Family. We'll be back with the final 13.6. Michael Long with American Family Insurance offers auto, home, business, farm, and life insurance, which includes motorcycles, boats, ATVs, UTVs, classic and antique autos, renters, manufactured homes, rentals, along with event coverage such as weddings, golf hole-in-ones, conferences, and much, much more. He's licensed in Indiana, Ohio, and Florida. For more information, look him up on Facebook to see insurance tips and to sign up for his agency giveaways. Michael Long, American Family Insurance, all your protection under one roof. All right, back here live, 13.6 seconds to go in the contest. Crawford with a two-point lead, 53-51. They have possession, um, so the center is going to have to probably foul here quickly and uh, put them at the line. Like we said, you know, we, we'd like to see him foul Allen, but I'm not sure they'll throw the ball to him. Sturgeon struggled, too, up there. He had those two that he missed. Um, Bell to inbound as Crawford. Uh, Senators match up full court yeah. here man to man. And watch somebody going long. Bell's the quarterback, so he can throw it long. He'll kick it in. It'll come into Belcher, almost stolen away. Now we have to foul him, and Rosenbaum gets a hand on him. It's his second. Belcher not the guy we needed to foul, but he'll go to the line. Two-point lead for the Wolfpack. Well, that's a smart play by the Wolfpack to get it into yes. Belcher. I mean, if he's if it goes into him first, that's who you got to foul. All right. Ten seconds remaining. He'll have two free throws coming. He's only missed a couple up there, but we need him to miss a couple here. First one's up, and it rims in. He got it to go. 54-51. So three-point lead, three. Senator's got to come down and get a three. Second free throw coming. If he hits this one, I don't know. you got to get a quick two. Second free throw coming. Got them both. 55-51, four-point game. Brown kicking in and gets it in to Russell. Russell up quickly. Drives, takes it all the way to the rim and scores it. And the foul quickly. Oh, technical. That's the wrong call. <clears throat> That's a delay a game. That's a terrible call. Is that? I didn't see what they called. Ian out of, slapped the ball out of bounds, which it's a delay of game. It's not a technical. That's a terrible call. Oh, boy. He's going to correct this one. That's a good there. That's that is the correct call. Yeah. He's going to come back and it's going to be a the delay, delay of game, game, which is the correct call. Slapping the ball out of bounds is not a yeah, technical. Yeah, it's not a technical. So no free throws. That's a good correct. thing. Correct. 55. 53. And the reason you do that is because the time doesn't stop. So you right. hit the ball, you take your delay of game yeah. so that the clock stops. Yeah. 
2.2 seconds here, and they got to get it inbound. They'll throw it long, and they get it to Belcher, yep. and that's it. And they're going to win it. Crawford's going to get a 55 to 53 victory here over the Senators as they done what they had to do. And we said they could throw it long, and that's what yeah, they did. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. So we'll uh, take a break here, add things up, come back, talk to the coach a little bit as the Senators fall here tonight, 55-53 to the Crawford County Wolfpack. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Batt at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions big and small to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. Back to live action here in T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium on the Ron Smith Court where the Senators do fall to the Crawford County Wolfpack 55-53. Bubba, run down your numbers. Yeah, here's what we got in the uh, ball game. In the winning effort, the Wolfpack were led in scoring by uh, Siebert. Uh, Blake Siebert, number 35, the junior forward. He had six two-point field goals, one three-pointer, four of four at the line. He finishes the game with 19 points. Uh, Belcher, number 30, um, the senior guard, he has two two-point field goals, two three-pointers, seven of nine from the free throw line, 17 points for him. They were the only two in double figures. Stroud finished the game uh, with three two-point field goals, two free throws. Eight points for him, six points for Sattler, three points for Sturgeon on one three-pointer, and a two-point field goal by Quentin Bell to give them their 55. They were 13 of 18 from the free throw line, so they hit the free throws they needed to hit. For the Senators, only one guy in double figures, and that was Ian Rosenbaum, who only played the second half. He had four two-point field goals, three of four from the line, 11 points for him. 
two guys with nine points. Holden Russell, four field goals, one free throw for nine. Jackson Cameron with three three-pointers for nine. Uh, then we had Cree Zink played well, especially in that first half. He had that, well, that's all the scoring ahead was in the first half. One two-pointer, one three-pointer. Two of two at the line, seven total points for Cree in the game. Abels had two three-pointers for six. Williams had two two field goals, two uh, free throws for a total of six. And then rounding out the scoring, uh, Colton Brown had one two-point, one three-point field goal for five to give the Senators 53. They were eight of 11 from the free throw line. So both teams uh, shot it pretty well from the line, uh, but uh, we just didn't get enough opportunities. And they knocked theirs down when we had to play the foul game late in the game. Belcher in that fourth quarter, um, he shot 10 free throws and he hit eight of them. Yeah, I had two point shooting. The Senators were 12 of 21 for the game for 57%. They were seven of 18 from three point range for 38%. So overall, 19 of 39 for 48%. Yeah. Crawford County um, from two point range was 15 of 24 for 62%. Four of 11 from three point range for 36%. So overall, 19 of 35 for 54%. I had the Senators with 18 rebounds. They actually out-rebounded Crawford County 18 really? to 16. And I had the Senators for 10 turnovers where Crawford had 13. Yeah. So, Yeah, we just, uh, you know, there again, you know, this this team, we've, we've just had trouble closing games out. We get leads. You know, we had a 10-point lead there in the first half and then, let them claw back into it in that second quarter, tied at 24 at the half. And then, uh, you know, they were up two at the end of the third. And, um, you know, we we come back there in the fourth quarter, and but we let them score from the line. And, um, you know, they had 13 points. We had 13 points in that fourth quarter to get the two-point victory. So, you know, it's another close loss for the Senators. They fall to six and ten. Crawford gets their fifth win uh, on the year. They're five and thirteen. So, you know, you got to regroup here. We go back uh, into action uh, next Tuesday night, I believe, with the boys. Well, I don't have it up anymore. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. But uh, you know, we just, you know, this team, man, we're just so close. We've lost so many close games, and I know, you know, we got to go to Borden uh, next Tuesday, and then home right. here to Christian Academy. Schedule gets tough. I mean, we got Borden, Christian Academy, uh, who's only lost one game on the year. Then we go to Orleans. Then we got Henryville here at home, uh, Rock Creek here, or at Rock Creek, and then Shoals to, to end the season. So, you know, there's some tough games on our schedule. All of them are games that we're going to have to play well to win. And, um, you know, this team just uh, searching for uh, some identity. It hurt tonight. Kenton Chase not able to play. Hayden Morrow not able to play due to sickness. So those are two guys that, um, you know, play a lot of minutes for us, especially Kenton as a starter and a senior guard, our point guard. Um, you know, it's just hard to hard to uh, win these tight games without a couple of your main players. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to go ahead and sign it off. I, okay. You know, so coach is, is in talking to his, to his players for sure. So we're going to go ahead and um, – wrap this one up once again we are back live tomorrow with girls sectional yes. action we're back saturday with more girls then we'll be live again um with boys come tuesday so yeah we need a big crowd here tomorrow yep. night for the girls <coughs> i mean they're, they're taking on board in a, a ranked team i think they're number three number three um, in one a yeah so, so got to come back here with a big crowd and cheer on the uh, lady senators here comes coach there he comes he's, he's on his way so, over, so we'll wait we'll wait we'll get him over here yeah i don't want to go off i i, I feel like he <laughs> i feel like maybe sometimes we, we just don't want to we just kind of miss him <laughs> but uh, he's coming out now so we'll wait till he gets over here but uh, you know just a tough one another tough one and another tough conference loss you know we just haven't been able to get over the hump in these conference games and it's just really been disheartening i know it's hard on coach and um you know, it's hard on the kids, you know. At, at some point you get that uh, you get that feeling where, you know, you, in these tight games you, you feel like you try to do everything you can and then, uh, you know, it just kind of gets away from you. But, you know, Crawford, uh, they hit their free throws down the stretch and were able to pull this one out. So a two-point loss here uh, for the Senators tonight. 
uh, against the Wolf Pack, and uh, Coach uh, joins us here uh, on the broadcast, and we appreciate him taking the time to come out and talk to us. I know it's not the easiest thing to do after a tight game like that, but, uh, man, just once again, Coach, just right there, and we've been right there in all these conference games and just haven't been able to get over the hump. You know, at least the only good thing he says is this one didn't go to overtime. <laughs> Uh, you know, and we've had a bunch of those overtime games in conference play, but uh, tough one here tonight for the kids. But, you know, you're down a couple players in sickness, and we didn't have our point guard in Kent Chase tonight. And, uh, you know, those those things kind of hurt you, but those are the things I, I felt like some of the younger kids did step up and play well. Yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled with the guys that haven't been playing significant time and the way they got in. You know, you know Brady played four or five seconds yep. he went in and did exactly what we we talked about it before the game that situation may happen and you know I tip my hat to him because it's hard to sit over there and think hey I'm probably going to get in like he said but he did and he was ready and he did a great job uh you know Nash got his first start yep. uh, Tristan came in he did exactly what he needed to do he battled um, I'm probably forgetting somebody Cree Cree, Zink. Zink. Cree. You know, he comes points. in he led us in scoring the first time. <laughs> He, he leads us a lot of nights in scoring at practice. That guy can score. Um, we just need to get him healthy and make sure he's all, right. all there and, and ready to go 100%. Uh, still kind of watching him a little bit. But, uh, yeah, it hurts being sick, but everybody battles sickness and just, you know, different things, and guys get hurt, injured. We can't control that. Uh, we just got to go with next man up, and I thought those guys came in and contributed great, did a great job. I hopefully got some valuable minutes for them going down the stretch. Yeah, and I think, you know, with those younger kids getting in, Nash, Cree, the, the ones that haven't played a lot of varsity minutes, uh, you know, that just builds confidence for them. And there, there could be some games coming up where we're going to have to rely on them, uh, you know, for sure. So, uh, you know, it was good to see them come into the game and play well. Um, you know, just kind of got away from us there. We, we built a 10-point lead in that first half, and then we kind of got the turnover bug there a little bit, weren't real crisp with our passes, and, you know, those were things that uh, just kind of let Crawford get back into it. They tied us up there at the half at 24, and then, you know, it was kind of a dog fight from there on out. They led by two at the end of the third quarter, and then both teams with 13 points in that fourth quarter to uh, – finish the game at 55-53. Yeah, I've, I, I felt like we were in a great position because we did battle through that first half, you know, yeah. shorthanded, and we got there. And we got Ian back and got him going a little bit there in the second half, which was nice to see, and came off the bench and, and helped us tremendously down the stretch. Uh, did the things that he's done for us all year. Looks like he had 11 points, so right. nice job there in the second half for him. And, uh, you know, I think – I heard, I don't know, that uh, our guy had us for two turnovers in the second half, so we did take care. That's all I had. Better, yeah. better care of the basketball yeah. second half. We did let it get away from us. We had that lead, and then, you know, I called called three timeouts trying to settle them down that first half. But, again, we had guys out there that's not used to it. There's a there's a nervous energy oh, that yeah. you got to battle through, and uh, you got to learn, and sometimes you got to you got to figure that stuff out. The game's a little faster. Uh, and then we took some shots that I thought were not good shots, not what we were looking for. But, again, uh, we're, we're trying to figure that out. Yeah, that absolutely. Group. you done a good job. I felt like going to the zone there uh, in the second half, Siebert was kind of having his way inside and uh, kind of limited him a little bit there. Uh, he only scored one bucket in the fourth quarter. So the zone really kind of slowed things down for him. But, uh you know, then Belcher, uh, he kind of, you know, got free a couple times, hit a couple big three-pointers in the second half, and then, you know, he done a nice job finishing it out at the free throw line. He shot ten free throws in that fourth quarter and hit eight of them. So they done a nice job from the line, uh, you know, uh, only missing five on the game, but uh, they hit the ones they needed there in the fourth. Uh, Coach, Coach Hayes has done a nice job with the ball club. You know, they've had some guys get uh, some suspensions and they've not played with a full staff all year. But uh, now some guys are coming back, and they've won now four in a row. So yeah. this uh, this ball club's not not exactly what the record shows. Exactly. Um, not to make excuses for anybody, but, uh, you know, they found a way to win. And we've said it, you know, the team we're playing is trying to win the same as we are. Sure. And uh, we we got to figure it out. we just got to figure out how yeah. to win a close one. Yeah, and we've, man, we've played a ton of close games, that's for sure. Before the season's out, you got to guarantee me that we're going to win a game by double digits. 
I'm tired of the close <laughs> games. <laughs> well, I don't know that you can give me that guarantee, but it sounds good anyway. <laughs> I, I, I'd love to tell you, guarantee you we'll do all of them the rest right. of the way. <laughs> well, that, it's just been so tough. We have played so many tough games. We talked about it in our pregame. You know, every one of these conference games have been nail biters. You know, they've either went in overtime, Paoli hits a last second shot on a, on a prayer. Uh, to win that game uh, early in the year. And then tonight, you know, same situation. You know, they they come down and they get the two-point win. And, you know, it's just been so tough in conference play uh, to get a W. And, you know, uh, you know, these teams are battling. And, and we our kids battle. That, that's one thing that I can say for our kids. You never see any give up in them. And uh, that's a good sign. Well, I, you know, I hope it's a – a good sign going forward for the for the young guys to learn and for the old guys to continue to do the things the right way. Um, you know, you play a conference game, everybody tends to know what's coming. Yeah, what's, absolutely. What, what's your bread and butter? So they take away the first option, the second option, whatever the case may be, and it, it does make it more of a grind it out and just who can hang on and win at the end. We're, we're experiencing that a lot, um, obviously, on the short end of it. So, right. you know, yet to get our first conference win, but we're, we're going to try and figure it out and keep working get after it tomorrow and uh you know short practice tomorrow and then hopefully watch the ladies uh, get another sectional win yes that's what we're hoping for a big crowd here tomorrow night to cheer on the ladies senators but you know six six games left here it's hard to believe that uh, only three weeks left we got tuesday friday here on out uh for yep. the next three weeks and uh you know some tough opponents to uh in that six game stretch uh you know coming up here but hopefully We'll get everybody back, and, and this team can come together and get ready for postseason play through the next three weeks. Yeah, that's that's the goal. Uh, you know, schedule, it don't get any easier. No, it doesn't. we got uh, Borden, who's already beat us, coming up next, and then, uh, you know, you got two two really good ones behind Power that. Houses, and yeah. Uh, yeah. Academy so, and Orleans, yeah. So we'll see how we can get through it, and, and we'll battle, and we'll try and make some adjustments. Coach, good luck going forward. We appreciate you taking the time to come out and talk to us here and uh, just keep battling. Got to keep yeah. your heads up because, uh, you know, uh, at this point, you're just, you know, you're playing to, to get better. And I feel like that we have done that. Our team has definitely gotten better and we're getting some of these kids uh, some valuable minutes of varsity play. And, and I think they showed that here tonight. Yeah, yeah, they're working hard. Uh, Again, the guys that didn't get the minutes, you know, throughout the season stepped in tonight and did some uh, really good things for us. Yeah, absolutely. Well, good luck going forward, Coach. Appreciate we'll it. be here with you. Thank you for coming out and joining us here on our postgame report as Coach Cummings joins us here as the Senators follow once again our final score, Crawford 55, West Washington 53. I want to thank all our sponsors here on the broadcast tonight, Lynx Clothing and Shoes, Eddie Gilstrap Motors and Southern United Producers, uh, the Washington County Community Foundation, uh, who else we got? Michael Long. Mike Long. Yes, I always um, forget Mike. And Sullivan Financial. Sullivan's Financial yep, Group. That's yep, the only one. Uh, you said Gilstrap, right? I did say Gilstrap. Good, good I didn't deal forget on that. Don't forget that. Yeah, I'd be in trouble if I did. So, anyway, <laughs> we appreciate their support and also our support for the girls. Join us tomorrow night here on West Washington Livestream. If you can't get to the game, uh, we'll have that action for you from the sectional play here. Uh, Senator, Lady Senators play the second game tomorrow night. Uh, so get out and uh, cheer on your senators, and that's all the time we have tonight. So for the Professor Craig Eckers, this is Bubba Abbott. We say God bless you, and we'll send it back over to the studio.